In this class we are going to discuss about mean terms and max terms in a Boolean algebra. So, here in Boolean algebra while solving Boolean expressions and uh, K maps, uh, we are going to hear some words like mean terms and max terms. So, what is meant by a mean term and what is meant by a max term that we will discuss now. So, mean term is nothing but each individual product term in SSOP form that means standard SOP form each individual product term is nothing but this mean term. So, in the same way each individual sum term in SPOS form standard POS standard product of sums form is called as max term each individual sum term in SPOS form is called as max term. This is the definition for min term and max term. So, here for two variable function for example, if you are taking f of a comma b as a two variable function for a two variable function with two variables a comma b the combination may be I am going to write uh, min terms and max terms for that first of all I am writing the combinations. So, 0 0, 0 1, 1 0 and 1 1 these are the possible four combinations for a two variable function. Now, we will see how we are going to write min terms and max terms. So, in min terms nothing but product terms. So, whenever 0 is there you are taking the actual variable, whenever uh, whenever 0 is there you are taking the complement of actual variable, whenever 1 is there you are taking actual variable. Whereas, in max terms when 0 is there you are taking actual variable and when 1 is there you are taking complement. So, in between you are uh, put uh, you are going to put plus or multiplication in case of this you are going to put multiplication in case of this you are going to put addition. So, see here how we are going to write this min terms and max terms for some uh, two variable function. So, see here here is 0 and 0 if a function represents 0 0 then the min term may be. So, here this is equivalent to a bar into b bar this is the min term. So, 0 0 min term represents a bar into b bar in min terms concept 0 represent complement. So, and multiplication you need to take between the variables. So, this is also called as m 0 min term 0. So, min term 0 for a two variable function is a bar b bar represents 0 0. Now, here if you are having 0 1 now the min term is so a bar into b because here you are having 0 in place of a. So, you are getting a bar here into because uh, min terms is nothing but sum of products. So, product you need to take between the variables. So, here in place of b you are having 1. So, you are taking b as it is. So, this is also called as m 1 min term 1. So, you need to represent with small m. So, you need to consider small m not capital M. So, now here 1 0 means in the similar way a b bar this is called as a into b bar because at a you are having 1 and at b you are having 0 this is called as min term 2. So, now here you are having 1 1 that means a b. So, this is min term 3. So, in the same way you can write max terms, but when you are writing max terms please keep in mind when 0 is there you are writing actual variable, when 1 is there you are writing complement of the variable and it between the variables you need to consider addition. So, that means here 0 0 means you are going to take a plus b. So, this is max term 0. So, this you can say max term 0 this will represent with capital M. So, and 0 1. So, for example, if you are having 0 1. So, if 0 1 is there 0 you are taking as actual variable A and 1 you are taking as B bar. So, here you are considering like A plus B bar. For example, in a two variable SPOS form if you are having A plus B bar as a sum term one of the sum term that means max term 1 is present. So, this is called as max term 1. So, this is 
going to be present if a plus b bar is there. Then now for 1 0, so how you are going to write means a bar plus b. So this is max term 2. So in the same way if 1 1 is there then you are writing a bar plus b bar this is max term 3. So this is about two variable min terms and max terms. Now we will see how we are going to represent a function and min terms and max terms. For example if you are having a function f of a comma b. So f of a comma b is equal to some a b plus a bar b. So this is the function. So now this is in SSOP form. So how you can say this is in SSOP means each product term contains all the variables. In a b you are having both a and b. In a bar b you are having a b. That means a bar is also came from a only. So this is in SSOP form now. So from this SSOP form how you can write uh, min terms means so here you, you are going to represent with summation m of so summation m of so a b means so see here a b means 1 1 so in min terms concept a, a means normal variable and b is also normal so that means 1 1 so 1 1 here 0 1 so 1 1 means 3 you know that that is equivalent to 3 and 0 1 means so see here a bar b 0 1 means that is equivalent to 1. So here your min terms is 1 comma 3. So anywhere you saw like this, anywhere you saw like this, definitely you can trace this expression. How you will trace this expression means, see uh, for example anyone given you small m of summation of small m of 0 comma 3. By seeing this summation itself you can say these are min terms and in SSOP form and by seeing the values here what is the maximum value here maximum value is 3 if maximum value here is 3 so minimum how many min terms will be there means so 2 square that means 4 so with 4 min terms so how many variables will be there so here for 2 variables maximum 4 min terms like that I am back tracing if maximum 3, definitely 3 won't be there. Either 2 or 4 or so like that. 2 power combinations will be there for min terms. So, whenever you saw 3, so next uh, thing, 2 powers you need to calculate. That means 2 square, 4. So, four, uh, 3 is less than 4, up to 4 you can trace. So, here by seeing 3 itself, this may be a 2 variable function with 4 min terms. So that 4 min terms may be so like this. So if you saw like this, if you are having 1 here, so what is the value of 1? What is the binary for 1? 0, 1. So 0, 1 in min terms, so 0, 1 means a bar b. So 3 in uh, binary means 1, 1. So for 1, 1 you, you can represent a b. Like this you are going to trace the expression related to this min term. So by seeing itself we can say this is a min term with SSOP form and by seeing 1 you are going to write 0 1 just decode into binary 1 means 0 1. So 0 1 means so a variable you need to take a bar and b and by seeing 3 itself that is 3 is nothing but 1 1 in binary. So 1 1 means a b. So now in the same way you are going to deal with this uh, POS see here. For example, same expression if dual is given, I am taking dual here. That means f of a comma b is equal to, this is a function. So now two variable function, you are having a plus b into a bar plus b. So by seeing itself, you can say this is in POS form, that is also SPOS form. So now, here by seeing itself we can write the max terms like this. So what is the max term here? This is max term 0. Why? Because in when you, when you saw POS form definitely normal variable you need to treat this as 0 and whatever complement is there that 
first you need to take it as 1. So, 0, 0 is nothing but 0, max term 0, this is max term 0 and 1, 0 is nothing but max term 2. See here, a bar plus b max term 2. This binary itself represents the value is equivalent to 2. So, this is max term 2. So, the representation of max terms is it with pi. So, this is equivalent to, we can write like this, pi of capital M of, so 0, comma 2 are the max terms for this expression. By using max terms, uh, max term uh, equation itself, by uh, watching this expression itself, we can trace this expression. How means? Max term means like this. So, means product of sums form. So, when you saw 0, so you need to take binary for 0. When you saw 2, you need to take binary for 2. You know that in max terms, 0 is actual variable and 1 is complement variable. So, this you need to consider like this. So, as 1 is there, a bar b. So, you need to put plus in between the variables as this is a product of sums expression. So, you are getting expression from this like this. So, this is very very important concept min terms and max terms for any technical exam related to Boolean algebra.